my friend. Where are you? Come here. It's time to see how you fared during your probation. Oh, Paul, you're doing great. The other subjects have been paralyzed for an hour by this point. You probably noticed that the creatures haven't bothered you. It's all thanks to the parasite. Now we just need to decide whether to remove it from you or not. I'm sorry, Paul. Mother is against it. Seems she's very hungry. She only eats what she kills herself. Goodbye, Paul. Tell Mother an appetite. Before we begin, I want you to put down your scribble. Excellent. You made the right move. Just a couple more things and you'll pull your family out of poverty. I really hope so. Attach this to your chest. Our scientists require us to do this to see everything that happens in the enclosures. Scientists? I thought this was a zoo. True. Ever thought that the smart Alex belong right in the zoo? <laughs> Hope you got the joke. Excellent. Now let's get started. First, grab your personal PDA. It's necessary for interacting with all the work objects. Congratulations, you've taken the first step to becoming a part of our close-knit zoo family. Wait, what's this for? You'll find out later. Oh, are you finally awake? Good, get up, it's time to get to work. What the hell? What did you do to me? I took care of your health. Working with animals requires prevention. You wouldn't want to bring some kind of infection home, would you? By the way, I took your phone as well. I'll return it in the morning after the shift. So I got the job? I thought we had an interview. My wife is waiting for me outside. The job will be yours if you make it through the night. Let's go. I still have a lot to show you. Am I supposed to wait for you forever? It's quite spacious here. Yep, this is our hub. You'll have plenty of everything here, except time. Now we're in the cold room. Here we store herbs, vegetables, and fish while the meat gets ground into portions for the animal rations. And right now we're running low on herbs and vegetables. Got the hint? Get to it. You can find the instructions in your PDA. What was that? There's something in the works that you're not ready to know about yet. Let's start with the basics. This is our mobile veterinary station. Here you'll be mixing medications for our animals. Are they sick? Well, they can be. We need to closely monitor the health of the animals. We have some quite rare specimens, so the thought of anything happening to them is out of the question. Take this seriously and we should all be safe for another day. All right, enough chit-chat. Go to the cutting table. You need to select the giraffe from the list. Excellent, Paul. Cut. Now do the same with the herbal brick from the recipe. Go ahead. I never thought a zoo could be organized like this. A train? Trolleys? Yes, Paul, our zoo is quite unique. It's our pride. You won't see anything like it in others. Pride? Then why has the zoo been closed for the second year? People say the zoo is going through tough times. How would I know? I'm just a simple man. Clock in and clock out. How long have you been working here? Long enough to teach you everything. Come on, move the trolley. Take the bucket and dump the food in the feeding area. Great. Now 
put on the MFE. What's that? Mobile Fecal Extractor. In simpler terms, a shit sucker. You've eaten shit before. <laughs> now you're going to suck it. I don't know. Why do we need all this? We need to constantly monitor the health of the animals, and taking excrement for tests is one of your key tasks. A hundred thousand a year, Paul. A hundred thousand fucking American dollars. You just have to collect the shit. Come on, Paul. Don't chicken out. TIS. To avoid unnecessary questions, it's a thermal imaging system. You can just call it a thermal imager. It's needed to determine the body temperature of our animals. As you can see, one of the giraffes isn't doing well. We need to make a dart with Temperalax. It's a medication for normalizing the temperature of animals. By the way, it was developed by one of the local eggheads. Interact with the terminal and press the exit and closure button. In the terminal, you can check all the analyses you've collected in this enclosure. Make some medications too? Well, you studied chemical technology in Indiana. You'll manage. Damn. How do you know all this? Trust me, it's not something worth being surprised about here. But I barely lasted six months there. Got kicked out in the first year. No worries. That should be enough to mix a couple of ingredients following a ready-made formula. <laughs> Congratulations, Paul. You've just come closer to success and the well-being of your family. Now, go and load the collected fecal matter into the biomaterial receiver. Don't carry anything into the car. Everything must be sterile. And don't forget to put the shit sucker back in its place. so jumpy. Now you need to load the trolley into the train. To do this, press the lever inside the car. Excellent. Now this is our mobile vet station. To make temporal acts, you need to load the station with enough vials. I did it this time, but in the future you'll have to gather the vials yourself to cook it up. But keep in mind, chum, there are not so many vials. Think twice before using them. Perfect. Now take the dart from the dart dispenser. Cool, you've got Temporalax. Now load it into the veterinary gun. It's in the gadget trolley. Good. Now the only thing left is to dart the sick giraffe. The sick giraffe, Paul. Be careful, don't confuse Bo with Po. <laughs> Everything went smoothly? Seems like it. I did this for the first time. Hopefully he'll get better soon. Well, don't doubt that. We need to get back to the hub. Every zookeeper is entitled to a service car. This one's mine. If you perform well tonight, he'll get one in the morning. Is that your wife? Should I tell her you're staying here for the night? Keep in mind, I'll lock you in until morning. No problem. I think she'll figure it out and go home soon. As you wish. Good luck, Paul. 
don't mess up. Paul, you entered here who knows how long ago. You're not answering calls, I'm worried. Lily, sweetheart, sorry. Didn't hear you right away. Everything's okay. They put me on probation, but I had to start immediately. You should just go home. I'll be back in the morning to tell you everything. Paul, but I saw them lock you up. It's not normal. Yeah, it's just protocol here. They took away my phone and made me sign an NDA. And all I have to do is feed and treat the animals. Oh, and by the way, there's plenty of meat here. I want my girls to finally eat normal food. I'll be right back. Don't go away.
Uh, I mean, at Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Don't worry, Paul. It's me again. How's it going? Do you need any explanations? Oh, I definitely do. I thought you had beef or, uh, I don't know, lamb in the fridge. And there... And there's a long neck pig. You see, Paul, dozens of parasites spread from the mother every day. They infiltrate our animals and they turn into... How shall I put it? Well, monsters. And they have specific tastes. They need meat. What the... What the hell is the mother? <laughs> Relax. The mother is securely locked away. Not much is known about her, so they study her. Forget about it. You know your tasks. Don't worry about the rest. Damn. I should have been warned about this in advance. I didn't sign up for this. Of course you did. You signed an NDA. <laughs> I've seen what happens to those who violate NDA. I advise you not to. So if they say grind bodies, you grind. If they say kill, you kill. Got it? Got it. And if by chance you want to tell someone about these little secrets, that would be a direct violation of the NDA. And you'll have to face the consequences of your actions. Now stop whining and get back to work.
Wait, is this a human hand? Where did you get it? Right where you almost ended up. Somehow I feel like... Well, never mind. Try to use it on a scanner. That's what I was planning to do. Cool. Let's go see where these maniacs conduct their experiments. Disgusting face. A pure maniac who lacks a personal life. That's Doc, my daytime shift colleague. For a daytime zookeeper, your Doc has too many scientific degrees. I bet he's the head honcho here. It seems they cause mutations in humans as well as animals. Now we know who extended a helping hand to us. Poor CJ. Did you know him? No, why? Damn, you look awful. Fuck you. Why didn't you mention that you slept with CJ? Is he your source? How do you know? Answer. Well, kind of. I slept with him. He promised information about the parasites. Instead, I got a bag over my head and a syringe with a tranquilizer. What if I tell you I found a floppy disk in his locker? Would it be easier for you to guess the password? Oh, shit. Why didn't you say that earlier? Paul, we need to hurry. You're about to be paralyzed and then you'll mutate. But we can still save you. I'm gonna send the poison formula to your PDA right now. Paul, please, there's no time for that. Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Idiot, moron, asshole. What the hell did you tell that bitch, CJ's wife? I warned you that you have to do everything they tell you. Do you know what I'm going to do with you now? Fuck you, you've already done everything. I have a parasite inside me that turns me into a mutant. So that's how it is. You probably noticed that the animals didn't touch you. It's because of the parasite. Only thanks to it, they see you as one of their own. In short, Paul, you've messed up a lot, but it can still be fixed. Finally send that bitch Watkins to the grinder and wait for me at the entrance. Only then will you get the antidote and maybe keep your job. Who is that? Metzger? What did he say? CJ came up with a poison formula that could work on Mother. She's connected to all the parasites. Kill her, kill them all. Even those already parasitizing living organisms will die. Poison is ready. What's next? Here's the injector. But I'm afraid we have a problem. Only Doc has access to the biometric lock from the mother's enclosure. And the mother must take poison with food. But the food must be alive. I'm sure there must be another way. Let's go to the mother's enclosure. Paul, you're about to be paralyzed. I think I won't be able to inject the poison myself. You need to do it. No, I'll do better. I'll shed light on this shit. Just wait for the doc. This is doc. Faster. Inject me with the poison, Sarah. Hey, Paul, how are you feeling? Oh, by the way, it's a pleasure of meeting your wife. Can you believe she reported to the police that her beloved husband disappeared in the zoo? Good thing I have friends everywhere. Now she will have to go into the grinder too. Well, lie down here for now. I'll prepare everything. Mother, my girl, it 
it's lunchtime. What the hell? This is for CJ! 